Hello friends, very good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trade with A and myself Bala here. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. And in this video, what I am going to make you the scanner, which one of my friend who are requesting many times of breakout one. So that scanner which I am going to focus here in this video and based on uh, Camarilla support and resistance that I am going to focus here in this video. That Camarilla is looking like that a CPR. So central pivot range, same like that the Camarilla also another pivot points. So based on that pivot point, I am going to find out the trade opportunity that I am going to make you the scanner on this video. It's a very simple one. But it is a powerful uh, trading strategy which we can uh, using that uh, Camarilla scanner. And the Camarilla support resistance act as a good points, uh, good resistance and support for the market. And I am just recording this video on the market is going to close uh, now. And I'm just because while after market close that may be changing. And how many stocks we are going to find out based on that uh, the charting scanner or uh, based on the Camarilla resistance and I am just simply going to create the stock uh, which is going to uh, start in the first 15 minutes it must be crossing above the Camarilla resistance port that I am going to create in this video now. So if you are watching this video as new kindly subscribe my youtube channel to get more update on intraday and positional trading strategies. So let me create that scanner and I am going to just going to create the scanner and uh, this one uh, you cannot uh, get it on your uh, charting because it is a custom scanner and maybe you can use it but you cannot able to modify or create it so that may be the uh, issues with that scanner whatever the scanner which I create the same like that you can uh, going to find out and will I add you so what I am going to focus that uh, support and resistance um, by using the Camarilla pivots so that I go to show you something interesting about the Camarilla pivots so let me add the charts that we go to do had the bank of t and today we find out bank of t option trades that was not worked well at and it now is slightly moving down 42800 and it uh, breaks the support of 43000 and it moves just about some 30 points and then it returned back so let me go to show you the camarilla levels so let's look at that this is what a camarilla so what i am going to plan that camarilla charts this resistance and the supports this is my key point where i'm going to make you the scanner based on the support and resistance to find out a breakout trades on intraday basis that is my key concept where you can see there is a breakout above camarilla and there is a big movement and breakdown previously and there is a big movement but instead of that i am focusing a breakout at breakdown at the level to focus uh, when it is breaks or when it is uh, break above or when it is break below i'm not going to focus and look at this chart it was uh, today bank of t is a very narrow range it was trading in the r3 and s3 mainly i'm going to focus r4 and the s4 should be my key point where i'm going to focus my trade so look at this these are the stocks which has started moving down very big and where i can find out a breakout stocks so that i'm going to show you some other stocks by using this method how to find out the stocks in the live market is running now which may be yet to close and how to I'm, how i'm finding out the stocks for uh, today's trade opportunity are based on the scanner and let i'm going to show you some stocks like uh, today titan so on morning also i was seeing titan in 15 minutes breakout look at this so huge breakout at this level of 2544 and it went up to 2595 so another stock which I find out power grid that is also I'm looking out power grid India. So breakout which I'm waiting for that was not triggering that first 15 minute breakout. The stock was trading in between the range from today. That is the first 15 minute range. Maybe we are going to focus the stock for a tomorrow's trade because it was not broken the first 15 minutes high as well as low. And another one which I'm focusing is about Motherson to me. And how the stock which I find out by based on the breakout. So it is also breakout which is happening at the level 74.8 and it maximum moves 74.85. And still it is trading at the same level. So no maybe uh, no profit or no loss. And S cards. So which I am going to use the S cards at this point. This may be a breakout one. But if you are focusing this trade. Maybe a huge risk. Okay. 
so at this highest level it was broken the trade and it may be it moving higher uh, we are going to wait for it and it may be where it is from the entry point of uh, 2134 it went up to maximum of 215 and maybe the intraday breakout but if you are making the stop loss at this level and what should be the stop loss from your entry point that you need to focus okay so and also we can uh, find out those stock which is crossing that levels at the moment and that is also we can find out where the stock which is crossing uh, that support level and we maybe keep the resistance uh, that s3 as a stop loss maybe a lot of uh, way uh, we can uh, make use of the scanners but what i'm going to do here i'm going to just simply finding out the stock which is started above r4 and below s4 that kind of stock which i'm going to focus so the simple concept which i'm going to make you the scanner at this moment if the stock in the first 15 minutes which is closed above the r4 and or any stock which is closed in the first 15 minutes let's look at that this was the first 15 minutes which is closed above the r4 level maybe if it is breaks above the level we can expect upside and with the r3 as a stop loss or again r4 as a stop loss if it is a big gap between r4 and if the stock which opening itself it is closed below the s4 and we may be expecting the stock may be going down and we should find out the breakout stock by using the charting screen that i'm going to make you the scanner so let me simple one we are going to use this condition the filter uh, i'm just using a future stocks and what i'm going to use here i'm just going to make a uh, today's close price that must be the latest close in the board i'm just talking about 15 minutes close but that 15 minutes is equal to 5 minutes that is the 15 minutes close must be greater than uh, must be greater than yeah we are we are talking about the stock must be closed above the level and i'm going to use camarilla r4 and just i'm going to use the latest camarilla or one day ago camarilla r4 so if i'm using that i'll be getting this stock this stock which is we are going to get only at 915 930 so after the same stock that i have already shown titan and pause industries also be the stock which is on the list that i'm going to show you the pause industries what is happening exactly PA Pause Industries. Okay. Look at this. What exactly the stock which forms a uh, close? That first 15 minutes close is above to the R4. And maybe the breakout at this part 15 minutes high, it continues. Where I can keep my stop loss. Maybe at the R4 level, if there is a gap between your entry point and the stop. That means the R board, if it is a very high, so we can uh, very low, we can keep it. And sorry, if it is the entry and R board should be very big, means we can keep a R4 as a stop loss. And if your entry may be nearby R4, we can keep stop loss below R3. So, it would be the best strategy that was finding out the breakout stock that may be giving you such a good result on intraday basis. It's not for a positional trade. It's about the intraday trade which I am focusing for today, and this talks will be filtered out by this scanner. It may be available till uh, in till the day because it is about the scanner which we are going to focus for breakout one, and we are using a first fifteen minutes. It may not be what repaint it or the whatever the stock which is available here, and the stock will be available on this. Let I am going to show you something um, breakout. So breakout stocks using a starting scanner breakouts let me go to check and we'll check the previous day reset to while saving the scanner we can go to check the back test and you can see we are seeing the back test the stock will be available here in this list never repaint let me go to check some other stocks like badram shini jsw and even a jindal sale that jindal sale yesterday we are finding out so there is a good opportunity and tata motors and jsw steel so these are the stocks we find out by way study and a lot of stocks we are going to find out based on this method and if you want to change this uh, resistance uh, for a downside that may be also be a good one so i will be making a new video about the downside one so this is what a, a one which we are going to focus for a upside that is a stock for a breakout so this may be the scanner breakout so you may be finding out that one and you may also you may be creating breakout by AS may be the finding very easy breakout stocks 
so you can find out with the name so you can finding out this one very easily and i hope you enjoyed this video and this was a script code so you can now back test and analyze if you okay it is working well you can go to take a trade on that particular strategy thank you for watching this and thank you very much and keep subscribing my channel